joining 2K Sports for NBA action this Sunday afternoon. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson. Alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, our reporter is Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Well, guys, LeBron James, arguably the most versatile player in league history. He said, quote, I don't have a position. I'm not a point guard, a shooting guard, a small forward, a power forward, or a center. I'm just a ball player. I do a little bit of everything and whatever it takes to win. That's my job description. This guy's one of one, Allie. Thank you. And for coaches bringing in new systems, Clark, it's amazing to watch them build a base and then add layers to it. I agree, B.A. I mean, that's one of the remarkable things about the NBA and teams coming together. You've got to build it. And guys have to sacrifice and adjust along the way. That's the only way it can work. And you've got to be fundamentally sound and committed to the process, coaches and players. A look at the opening lineup for the Cleveland Cavaliers. We've got Mobley, Donovan Mitchell out there with Darius Garland. Then there's Kevin Love, and it's Lavert in at the three. And for Los Angeles, we've got Davis, Thomas Bryant out there with LeBron James. Then there's Russell Westbrook, and it's Beverly in at the shooting guard position. Here's Mitchell. Westbrook with the rebound. Here are the Lakers now. To the inside, Davis. And finished off by Davis. You know, when you're open on Westbrook's team, he makes sure to find you. He's a selfless distributor. Westbrook against Garland. Pass to Mobley. Count it. One for one to start the game. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in attack mode. Westbrook outside. Here's James. There's the triple. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. Here's Mitchell. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And one of the big names on the move this past summer was Donovan Mitchell. Now, you figured his time in Utah was up as the team decided to change their core up. Could be a game changer, though, with this roster, even with all they gave up to get him. First one falls for him. And Grant Donovan Mitchell wears the number 45. Not one we see a lot of in the NBA. That's true, B.A., but Donovan's got a good reason to wear it. Paying homage to Michael Jordan. Mitchell said growing up, everyone always took 23, so he went to MJ's return number, 45. Both free throws good for Mitchell. And after a few seasons of anemic offense, the Cavs have finally started to turn things around. Yes, they have. And they made a big step forward. Now, there's a nice balance to their offense. Davis hits. I think this particular play hinges on Davis's shooting ability. But you've got to set him up right, and the basket is virtually guaranteed if you do. Now here's Garland, trying to make up for his poor performance in that loss to Detroit. Here's Mobley. The shot no good. And Los Angeles the other way now. And this matchup with the Cavaliers, it's their first meeting of the season. And with this matchup being East versus West, this is the first of only two meetings between these teams. And, you know, there's always a bit of a feeling out process in that first game between opponents. A lot different than when you've played a team you're familiar with. Here's Mitchell. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. Back to Levert. Back to Mitchell. Three on the clock. And it's out of bounds for the Cavaliers as Cleveland retains possession. Now, well, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Here's the three. He drains out one after two misses. Now one for three. It does a lot for their spacing when Mitchell's draining threes. That's what they want from him. He can really open things up for their bigs inside. Now here's Beverly. James passes to Westbrook. Out to Beverly. Let's it go from deep. Pure from three-point range. 
Only one miss in the first five attempts. Clearly feeling. Levert outside. Pass to Love. Mitchell with the ball. Outside Garland. That one's good. Yeah, Mitchell yes. making the play. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Good shot, gone bad. Gotta finish there. Levert finds Garland. Perfect night so far. Yeah, two yeah. for two. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at him. Get to the rack. Beverly, the pass to James. And he banks in the layup. Fighting through contact. Not easy trying to corral LeBron when he's focused on scoring. Good luck with that. Pass to Mobley. Now here's Garland. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. And Darius Garland has proven he's a franchise player, Grant. And the upside is still there for him. Oh, wow. He could be one of the best guards in the league when he hits his prime. He gives you everything you want from a point guard. This team was patient with him, and it paid off. That's good from Garland. Perhaps the biggest surprise in the league last year, the Lakers missing the playoffs. Before the season, lots of people had them winning it all. Now here's Westbrook. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. And a disappointing 2021-22 season for the Lakers, Clark. What went wrong? Well, they just couldn't stay healthy, B.A., and we know that's such a critical component when you're talking about trying to win it all. I mean, you got to be healthy. Injuries to LeBron and A.D., they missed a combined 78 games. You're not winning anything when your top players don't play at least 80% of your game. You're not going to—it's not happening. Uh, that's almost a full season missed between those two guys. And so when you're older— Sometimes the injury bugaboo can jump up and bite you, and it sure got the Lakers last season. Very few play with the same energy that Patrick Beverly does when he's on the floor. 2016-17 NBA Hustle Award and three All-Defensive Awards speak to his tenacity. Both free throws good from Beverly. Yeah, with Patrick Beverly, there's a lot that makes him a special player. Yeah, you know, some people would think it would be his hustle that stands out most. I think that might be secondary. I think it's his mindset. His grit and competitiveness combined with his hustle make him a very unique package. The Lakers trail. Davis, the pass to Beverly. Here's James. Right side, Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. Davis has got eight. But he still has it missed. Four for four to start the game. Yeah, he's setting himself up to be their go-to guy today. Now here's Garland. Give him eight points now. Fires for three. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. And at four or five now, a nice start. I mean, he looks ready to make an impact offensively. So far, so good. James passes to Westbrook. Bryant with it. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be Evan Mobley. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for Cleveland? You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. Another thing they're doing well early on is passing the ball, spreading it around the floor, and feeding guys who are well set up to score. That one's off. And you know, guys, I don't think too many people expected the resurgence we saw from the Cavs last season. It started with their defense. He hits the second from the line. Well, in terms of their D, the Cavs have gone from one of the softer teams in the league to one of the toughest. Well, think about this. I mean, they're a young team. They play with tremendous energy. 
and we see that in the way they get after it on defense. Now here's Love. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Four on the clock. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Beverly outside. Back to Westbrook. Mitchell against Beverly. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Gets the three ball to go. It's turned into a showdown here. Dueling from distance. Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. The three from Mitchell. And the Cavaliers, another three. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. the t-shirt. I can't hear you. Heading to the court, the Laker girl. Let's make some noise. Here is for the most legendary dance team on the planet, your Laker Girl. Let's hear it for the most legendary dance team on the planet, your Laker Girl. Bosman, he's checked in for Levert. Eighth in opponent field goal shooting, and they ended up in the top ten in shooting percentage. A nice place to be. They did a nice job of running their offense. And they really put in the work on the defensive end last season to limit their opponent's scoring. They were all business on that side of the floor. Now here's none. In his last outing, he had 11 points. Pass to Reeves. Outside Davis. And that's a foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's foul number two for him. I think he has to play more conservative from this point on. I mean, that's two fouls already. Jones, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Damian Jones. Here's none. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. The Cavaliers leading. Outside Mitchell. Back to Garland. Love against Jones. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. As for the Lakers, you think this is the last team LeBron plays for? You know, B.A., he certainly wants to play with his son. We know that. Now, whether that's in the purple and gold, only time will tell. It would definitely be fun to see them both with this storied franchise. Throw drops for Love. And when healthy, Love is still a quality player in this league. A stretch four who is also a great locker room presence. And Love drops them both. And for the Lakers, Clark, the last decade, they haven't been as impressive. Well, you know, B.A., there's a reason for that. They've missed more playoff games in the last decade than the franchise's entire existence. And a lot of it has been due to injuries. There's no lack of talent. LeBron took on the challenge, bringing the championship in the 19 and 20 season. But last year did not turn out as they were expecting. And a big part of it was injuries and really trying to adjust to new personnel. And so it's Cleveland with it. Following the score by the Lakers. Outside Garland. Pass to Osman. 
Let's go with a three. The shot comes out. And Los Angeles the other way now. Defeated by Utah in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. They just weren't careful with the rock. The passing was loose. The ball handling was lackluster. That's not how you win in this league. Well, you know you got to take care of the basketball. Hopefully, they learn from that game and are better going forward. Mobley passes to Mitchell. Knocks down the triple. Mitchell. Mitchell's got 11 points. points. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Here's Reeves. Here's Toscano. And that's a foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his third foul so far. A different look for Cleveland. Stevens is checked in for Love. And Rubio is subbed in for Darius Garland. Lamar Stevens. Ricky Rubio. Rubio against none. He's in his comfort zone, two for two to start this one. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Osman. He's coming off a 10-point game against Detroit. Mitchell, good. All hard. Mitchell scoring down low. I mean, Donovan plays the game with such passion. The Lakers call timeout. Welcome to the floor, the legendary. Fantastic Laker Girl. Los Angeles has gone two for three from outside the arc. Pass to Walker. Back to Nunn. Over Rubio. Nunn, no good. And here comes Cleveland. They lead by four. Defeated by Detroit in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. It was, frankly, embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were, too. Yeah, and you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything joined against you. Very frustrating. And the basket by Rubio. Already six of their points coming off second chances. Pretty impressive. Pass to Walker. Here's Reeves. Outside none. Here's Reeves. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Shot clock at five. To the middle. Mobley with the block. Rubio against Jones. Count it. Ricky and now a nine-point Cleveland lead. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Yeah, shots falling. Off to a very good start offensively as a result. And again, no good by the Lakers. And here comes Cleveland. They're on a 10-2 run here. Here's Stevens. Walker covering. Outside Mitchell. Shoots off the step back. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Cavaliers lead by 11. Yeah, they've done quality work on the offensive glass. I like the activity there, keeping the ball alive and creating some second chance buckets. Here's Toscano. Outside none. That's 
shot. No good. Rubio with some nice D. Here's Osman. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Shooting for Cleveland. Jenny Osman at the line for two. First free throw is good. And here in the first, they really are hitting their free throws. Yeah, getting to the line and converting, that's the big thing. It's always good when you can do that because it stabilizes your offense. Nettos checked in for Donovan Mitchell. And so he hits both. Los Angeles has gone two for three from outside the arc. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Back to none. Right side, Jones. Six on the shot clock. It's Walker on the wing. Driving inside. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Good heads up basketball. Sees an opening and capitalizes. Outside Rubio. Pass to Mobley. That one falls. Coming off Rubio's feed. Mobley's got nine points. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Just a big-time effort for Donovan Mitchell. Providing a lot of energy for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Hitting three trays in the quarter, providing some sharp shooting. Back to the game after this break. Bam! You're like a dead team. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, the Cavaliers pretty much in control here. Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. And every team has them. Those games where you just don't have them. Why does that happen, Grant? Well, B.A., I think, first of all, 82 games. It's a grind of a season. You factor in traveling, injuries, players out for different reasons. You're going to have moments like this where it just doesn't happen. You know what you do? You learn from it, you move on, and you get ready for the next night. We've got Patrick Beverly, LeBron James out there with Thomas Bryant. Then there's Russell Westbrook, and it's Davis in at the center position. That's the Laker Five. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Ali LaForce. Well, guys, the Cavaliers have surprised many with their ascension. Coach Bickerstaff said they had to be really patient through some difficult times, but his star center, Jared Allen, said, quote, no matter who's in front of us, big or small, we're going to go out there and fight till the end. Brian? Yeah, that's what got him here, Allie. Thank you. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result... They've got a big lead. Now the Lakers moving it up. That's good from Beverly. The assist by James. Beverly's got seven. Well, I like how Beverly takes advantage of these transition opportunities. He's crafty and clever at getting past the defense. And a moment to check out who the Los Angeles Lakers have coming up. On Monday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Utah, going up against the Jazz. And then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Kawhi Leonard and the Los Angeles Clippers. Garland's checked in for Cleveland. Darius Garland. Levert outside. Pass to Garland. Back to Levert. Just five to shoot. Over James. Who oh, trains the 19-footer. And the Cavaliers lead by 13. Nothing much you can do defensively there. I mean, Levert, excellent at maintaining focus and knocking down hard shots. 
Westbrook against Garland. Releases from 15. Westbrook can't hit. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity for mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one. Pass to LeVert. Over James. And it's Cleveland with another. And LeVert showing how confident he is in his jumper. He's got a nice soft release and is a very skilled guard. Davis with it. Westbrook outside. Out to James. The Cavaliers pull it in. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. And it seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Yeah, you know, LeBron's mental strength is just so, so focused that nothing much phases him. He stays locked in. LeBron led the NBA in assists during his 2020 title season with the Lakers becoming the second oldest player ever to lead the league in that category. Tries a 10-footer. Westbrook can't hit. The Cavaliers have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Pass to LeBert. Excellent D there from Davis. Man, that assist title for LeBron. An incredible accomplishment for someone of his size. Club. I bet you didn't know this, B.A., or maybe you did, because you are a factoid machine, but the only player taller than LeBron to lead the league in assist, Wilt Chamberlain, when you throw in winning the bubble championship finals MVP, 2020 might have been LeBron's finest season. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Mitchell's checked in. And, you know, this guy simply does not age. LeBron remains a dominant force in this league despite being in the league since 2003. Cleveland calls timeout. All right, fans, who wants a T-shirt? Welcome to the floor, the legendary, fantastic Laker girl. Let's hear it for the most legendary dance team on the planet, your Laker girl. to the court, the Laker girl. Let's make some noise. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, Mitchell, the pass to Garland. Five on the clock. Good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Garland's got 13. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Westbrook, the pass to Bryant. It's stolen by Love. Mitchell against Beverly. Knocked loose. Finished off by Davis. Oh, I love the unselfishness of Beverly. I mean, when he sees his teammate wide open, he quickly gets him the ball. Pass to LeBert. Now Love. Shot from 16. That one rolls around and rims out. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there. And neither can he. James. 
And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. He's got nine. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Here's Garland. Rebounded by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got four rebounds now. Beverly, the pass to Davis. Pass to James. Clock at six. Again, the Lakers. For Cleveland, they've gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. And here's Mitchell. Back to Garland. Levert with the ball. Checked by James. The shot by Levert. No good. The Lakers have gone six of 11 here in the second quarter. Davis finds Westbrook. Back to Davis. Up top, Beverly. Releases. Bryant controls the rebound. Oh, no, 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 no. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Timeout call, the Cavaliers. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Team. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Levert. Tries again. And down it goes. Two points. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Shooting for Cleveland. Karis Levert at the line for one. So it's the Lakers now. They trail by seven. After this game, they can look forward to Utah, where they'll have a matchup against the Jazz. It'll be the front end of a two-game road trip. Right side, Walker. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Stevens has checked in for Cleveland. Walker, the ball. One shot. Free throw good. Walker. The Cavaliers have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Pass to Osman. Here's Stevens. Outside Mitchell. Right through the D for the layup. Mitchell's got 15 points. 
You love to see Mitchell explode like this on offense. A guy who has so much potential as an elite scorer. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And Anthony Davis on the NBA's top 75 list. Brad, do you think that was a controversial selection? Well, I mean, it was mostly due to how young Davis still is. You can't argue with the all-NBA selection of numbers. And, of course, being a recent champion may have put him over the top. First free throw is good. You know, in this 21st century version of the NBA, just being big is not enough. Davis personifies the evolution of the big guy. He's got game from everywhere on the floor. Reeves is checked in for Los Angeles. Both free throws good from Davis. Cleveland has gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Stevens. Here's Osman. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Love. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. Yeah, good commitment there by Love. Insisting on getting his shot in the air while being fouled. Kevin Love taking two shots. First one falls, and the Lakers making a change here. Jones is checked in. And Love drops them both. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the stripe. He's going to cash in more than not. Outside Walker. Back to none. It's Walker on the wing. Back to none. And there's the foul. It's going to belong to Darius Garland. That's his first foul. He didn't have his feet planted. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, Air on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Darius Bell. That's his second personal foul. Fifth team foul. At the line for the Lakers, Kendrick Nunn. At the line for two. And he drops the first. Trying their best to make a comeback. Can't fault their performance from the line, especially this quarter. That's one of the ways you trim a deficit. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. They've scored really well this quarter. Keep it up, and they'll find themselves right back in it. Pass to Garland. Now here's Love. Here's Stevens. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. He buries it from three. Another triple for him. His fourth of the night after that monster first quarter where he hit three of them. Outside Walker. Here's Reeves. Checked by Mitchell. Left side Jones. Six to shoot. Walker for three. Mitchell grabs a miss. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Here's Reeves. Pass to Walker. The three. Love grabs the miss. Here's Osman. Now Love. 
The ball's knocked loose. Now here's Nunn, guarded by Garland. Here's Reeves. Pass to Walker. From the high post. That won't go either for Walker. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. A high flyer with long arms and attitude. Mitchell's so explosive at the rim. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Outside none. Tries a 10-footer, and he comes up with a bucket. Nunn's got four this quarter. Cleveland has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Pass to Stevens. Back to Garland. Here's Stevens. From deep, Mitchell. Jones grabs the board. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. Back to Walker. Here's Reeves. He had nine points in his last time out. Over Mitchell. Shot is good by Reeves. He's got six. That's simply a gimme for a player of his caliber. I mean, the defense cannot allow that. Here's Stevens. Walker covering. To the paint. Here's Mitchell. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Mitchell's got 22. You know, Love is, as we've seen, a solid passer for a big man. Great at breaking down the defense and firing the pass to an open teammate. Here's Reeves. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one on Mitchell. The team is in the penalty. At the line for Los Angeles, Austin Reeves. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. They have been stellar from the line tonight. They need to keep drawing those fouls, stay on the front foot, hopefully get to the stripe even more. Nettos checked in for the Cavs. Rubio comes in for Garland. so he makes both from the line. There's 45 seconds left to play in the half. Pass to Stevens. Here's Neto. Outside low. The three. Walker pulls down the board. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. He's off on that one. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Pass to Rubio. Over none. And another basket for Cleveland. Rubio. Rubio rising to the challenge. You love how he does that. Does not allow the defender to throw him off of his shot. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. What a game we're seeing from Donovan Mitchell. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. And on the floor for J.B. Bickerstaff as we get into the second half. Ricky Rubio is out there with Darius Garland. Then there's Kevin Love. Then it's Karis LeVert, and it's Mobley in at the power forward position. The Cavaliers leading. Outside Rubio. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. 
I wonder if it's a good idea to foul Rubio there. I mean, he shot well under 40% from the field for his career, but at the line, he's north of 80%. Ricky Rubio. Shoot two. two. And he knocks down the first one. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Well, the Lakers shooting 56% today. Beverly, the pass to Westbrook. And there's James from the arc. Good. And that makes it six for nine. A quality game for him so far. Yeah, you watch LeBron play, and it's obvious he gets more joy out of passing to his teammates and setting them up than scoring himself. But tonight, he's feeling Rubio doesn't go for him. And Los Angeles the other way now. Davis, the pass to Beverly. Stolen by Mobley. Pass to Rubio. He shoots it. He's good with a little jumper in close. Rubio's gotten four this quarter. He's been a steady presence for them. Nice to have that kind of safety net at the offensive end. As impressive as the numbers were for Mobley as a rookie, the consistency stood out the most, Grant. Yeah, no question, B.A. Mobley shows up and makes an impact every night. He just finds ways to help the team even when the shots aren't there. He's the type of player that fits with any system. LeBron James refusing to be denied, just muscling through that foul to get the shot off. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Mitchell's checked in. At the line for the Lakers. LeBron James at the line for one. And you look at the career that LeBron has put together. One of the all-time greats. Amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. Over a minute and a half now into this third quarter action. Levert goes against James. Just five on the clock. And they pick up two. Love. Love's got six points. And the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded, Grant. The very true, B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high schooler. The Cavaliers have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Out to Garland. Pass to Mitchell. Inside. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Few big men are as nuanced as love inside. He just knows how to pick up fouls. Shooting for Cleveland. Kevin Love. Take a break. Take a break. Two, two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And Love drops them both. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Throws it up high! Finished off by Davis. Boy, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. And here's Garland. 13 points in the game. Mitchell against Beverly. And another miss by Cleveland. The Lakers have gone 3 of 5 from the field in this third quarter. Here's Davis. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Westbrook's got five assists in the game. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Love. Levert outside. That 
That's tipped. Here's Mobley. The shot won't fall. Excellent D there from Bryant. Beverly against Mitchell. Beverly, the pass to Davis. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got rebound number seven tonight. Levert outside. Pass to Mobley. And here's Levert. Launches it. Rebound, the Lakers. Bryant's got rebound number five here tonight. Davis down low, covered by Mobley. Davis, the pass to Westbrook. James, outside. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got a rebound number eight here already in the game. Westbrook against Garland. Now here's Mitchell. He's guarded closely. Shakes off strong. D and gets to the bucket for two points. Mitchell's got 24 points. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Bryant finds James. Count it! And one! He'll have a chance at a three-point play. It's going to be on Karis LeVert. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Cleveland. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving. Good shot to great. That's winning basketball. But they've also found a lot of shots at the arc in this one and allowing their good shooters to tee it up. That free throw, good from James. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Cleveland calls timeout. Now time for our t-shirt giveaway. Let's hear you get loud. It's time, everyone. Let's hear it for your liquor girl. Finds Mitchell. Shoots over Beverly. The Lakers with a rebound. Bryant's got six rebounds now in the game. It's tipped. Here's Mitchell. And Mitchell with the slam. The burst and power of Mitchell on full display. This guy's incredible. Westbrook, the pass to Bryant. And that one's good. Bryant's got five. The Cavaliers have gone four of nine in the third quarter. Pass to Mitchell. Garland against Westbrook. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Osman, he's checked in for love. Banked it in off the glass. Five points in the game. You know, Westbrook able to score from anywhere. He just is so assertive and confident in what he can do out there. Mitchell, the pass to Garland. 
Here's Osman, covered by Bryant. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! James, outside. Back to Westbrook. Pass to James. Ooh, Lavert with some nice D for Cleveland. They've gotten five of ten shots to go. Here's Garland, and it's blocked by Davis. No, sir, don't bring that in here. AD having none of that. What an imposing figure he is defensively. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. Boy, he is all over that shot. I mean, had it read the whole way, got himself in the position, and then was able to make the play. Nunn's checked in for Los Angeles. Stevens is checked in for Cleveland. Neto comes in for Garland. On defense, the Lakers. Four-point game. Down low. Stolen by Davis. Mitchell against Nunn. And there's Bryant. That's good. On the assist from Nunn. Bryant's got four points now in the quarter. Pass to Osman. Here's Neto. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Mitchell. And another miss by Cleveland. The Lakers have gone 8 of 13 in the second half. This for the tie! None with a bucket. And yeah, that makes it a tie ball game. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And as Westbrook gets older, he's indicated that he's not looking to change how he plays, Greg. And that can be a double edged sword, BA. You love his aggression and confidence. But you wonder how his game will hold up as his athleticism goes. has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Outside Rubio. To the wing on the left. Pass to Stevens. Launches a three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Here's James. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards is really been something to watch and the game's not over yet we'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch davis the pass to none oh plenty of contact on that shot officials call the foul and he'll take two free throws now it's going to be evan mobley hey if you can't block it sending him to the line can be the next best thing yeah exactly prevent the layup give him a little bump and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time and if they don't think about it at least they might be distracted by your presence and that one falls that puts him up one point in the game now Walker he's checked in for LeBron
That one falls, so he hits both of them. And really strong at the line since the break. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Back to Neto. Mobley against Davis. Mobley passes to Rubio. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer, no good. You know, he's not a knockdown shooter from there, but when you're that uncovered, you almost are forced to take it. Walker finds Davis. Mobley grabs the board. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Good work there as it goes. Osmond's gotten four this quarter. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. None. The pass to Westbrook. And Westbrook draws the double. And here's Bryant outside. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Westbrook's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. And Bryant pulls it down. Bryant's got rebound number seven tonight. Outside Walker. Westbrook with it. He's got five. And he's going for the lob. Nice catch and finish on the lob. And it's a five-point Los Angeles lead. Oh, what a pass. Those two read each other really well. Looks like a play they've definitely run in practice. And as the receiver, he doesn't feel the need to go for the monster finish that time. I mean, laying it up for the two points worked out just fine. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Mobley against Westbrook. Bryant in the high post. Pass to Davis. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Hey, here's none for three. Tries again. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Cavaliers foul. Jimmy Eisen. That's his second personal foul. The fourth team foul. Substitution for your Lakers. Juan Toscano. Austin Reeves. Pass to Walker. This one for three. Sinks the tray. Walker's got eight. Their long-range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. And now's the time for them to step on the gas pedal. Don't let up. Keep letting it fly from deep and build that lead. Play through the finish line, not to it. Keep the pressure on. The shot by Rubio, no good. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Here's Reeves. Give him eight points now. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Pass to Stevens. Rubio against Walker. Mobley outside. Five to shoot. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. We'll be right back after this word. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. The Cavs trailing. We've got Patrick Beverly. 
Davis out there with Juan Toscano Anderson. Then there's LeBron James, and it's Reeves in at the shooting guard. That's the Laker five. Love passes to Levert. Clock at six. That one doesn't drop. Some solid defense from James. Pass to Beverly. Here's Reeves. Pulls it. James can't get it to go. The Cavaliers shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Mobley. And a missed layup. Los Angeles has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Pass to James. Here's Reeves. Cavaliers with a rebound. Well, you know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. The defense pays so much attention to Mitchell, and as a result, it opens the floor for everyone else. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Beverly, the pass to Davis. Shot from 12. He can't get it to go. And it's Cleveland the other way. That'll put him right in the middle of a five-game road trip. Pass to Garland. It's Levert on the wing. It's hauled in by Beverly. For Los Angeles, they've gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. Here's Reeves. Let's it fly. And again, no good by the Lakers. The Cavaliers have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Mobley passes to Garland. On the wing, Mitchell. Beverly defending. Here's Mobley. Count that one. He's scoring it a nice clip. He's six of nine tonight. And this is just right. typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Heading to the court. The Laker girl. Let's make some noise. Let's hear it for the most legendary dance team on the planet, your Laker girl. Here for the most legendary dance team on the planet, your Laker girl. Bryant, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Russell Westbrook comes in for Reeves. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. During that last break, I heard the Lakers coach as he addressed his team. He loves what he's seeing from their perimeter offense. He told the team, quote, keep shooting. It's working for us. Let's bring this home. Back to you. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Here's Bryant, and a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be Evan Mobley. First team foul. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. You know, all game long, they've imposed their will on the interior, scoring a lot of points in the painted area. Yeah, another thing, this offense came in aggressive, driving into the lane, forcing the defense to try to adjust. So far, the defense hasn't had enough of an answer. Free throw good. Brian. Huh? 
Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. And though he let one get away, he pushed this to a two-possession lead. He's really slowed down a bit here in the second half. He hasn't converted a three yet after the tremendous first half he had. Here's Westbrook. It's deflected. Pass to Mitchell. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. And Davis with the block. Levert left side. Screen, screen, screen. Bryant against Garland. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Darius Garland taking two shots. No good on that one. He does not get the second one. Usually free throws are a formality for him. I didn't expect that result when he stepped up there. Offensive rebound. And it's good. Two points. Davis has got 20 points. Well, Davis, one of the hardest working and best rebounders in the NBA, showing you great effort that time. Outside Garland. Pass to Love. Shoots over Davis. Love, that's good. Good D, but better offense. Kevin Love, a focus jumper. Beverly outside. Davis, the pass to Westbrook. With the 10 footer. Yep, that one goes. And the Lakers lead by seven. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they had. And the defense is looking almost lost on the perimeter. That opens up a quality three-point shot, and he delivers. Yeah, I think that might have been intentional. Perhaps was not an accident, because he's typically not the guy that's taking that shot at this stage of the game. Coming out of the half, making a commitment to the offensive boards has proven successful. Here's Mitchell. Rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Westbrook outside. James against Levert. James passes to Westbrook. Over Garland. Offensive board. Outside Davis. Pass to Westbrook. Now Beverly. Checked by Mitchell. To the inside. Here's Davis. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Davis has got 10 points in just the second half. Good positioning that time from AD. Working the pick and roll. Beautiful. Garland against Westbrook. Garland, the pass to Levert. Rebound by the Lakers. Now here's Beverly. Pass to James. Davis with it. Over Love. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Beverly against Mitchell. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. With good length and strong physical tools, Mitchell will challenge any opponent on the inside. Beverly against Mitchell. Oh, they get a hand on it. It's stolen by Love. Levert outside. Unloads from 13. And another basket for Cleveland. Boy, he's getting smarter at reading these situations, guys. Reverse basketball IQ and pick and rolls, 
ascending. Here's Westbrook. The shot's good on the assist by James. Well, he's been a different player here in the second half. Looking much more comfortable on the offensive end. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Outside for Mitchell. It's another three for Cleveland. Despite the play of the team, I think he's had an outstanding game. He's really done well here. Westbrook, the pass to Beverly. Now, here is James. The floater, and the shot goes. James has got 11 in the second half. How about this combination? Strength of a center and guard skills. LeBron James remains the game's most difficult wing to defend inside. Mobley, left side. Outside Mitchell. Just five on the clock. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lowe. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to James. Over Levert. Westbrook finds Beverly. Now Westbrook. The shot from the low post is good. Westbrook's got six in the quarter. Hey, whatever coach told him during the break is beginning to pay off. And here's Mitchell. The three is up. Knocks down the long chain. Putting on a shooting clinic from deep. He had that huge first half, time out, time and he's out. still rolling. Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. At this point in the game, fourth quarter, it's always important to stay focused. And while the coach goes over the plans, these players are getting a much-needed chance to get hydrated with some Gatorade. What an impressive performance for him tonight, particularly on the scoreboard. But understand, the team's unselfish play, the ball movement, the player movement, allowed him to convert consistently on the offensive end. Assist in the game. Great passing. Mitchell, the pass to Garland. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Los Angeles has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. And James gets it to go. The defense knows they got to throw everything at James inside, but he still manages to power through it. Lakers foul. Patrick Beverly. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Cavaliers, Donovan Mitchell. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
That free throw is good for Mitchell. Both free throws good for Mitchell. And the Lakers have possession. James outside. Out to Beverly. From behind the arc. And the Lakers hit again from deep. And Beverly is very consistent from outside. Solid at hitting the three ball when given the opportunity to shoot. Beverly against Mitchell. And Bryant with a block. And they'll keep possession. Count it. And there's a minute 45 left in the game. James against LeBert. Shots good by James. James has got 18 points in just the second half. Taking it right at the rack. I mean, that defense is looking real frustrated. Well, they should be. I mean, it has not been a good performance for them at that end of the floor. Going beyond mere stats, Mitchell breathes life into this offense. His energy lifts everyone around him. Shooting for Cleveland, Donovan Mitchell. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one drops, and that brings him within single digits. Both free throws good for Mitchell. Here's Westbrook. We've got 128 left in the game. Bryant outside. Lavert goes against James. Pass to Beverly. Down to five on the shot clock. Offline with a three. Cleveland has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. Here's Mitchell. And the layup is good off the glass. Mitchell's got 40 points. It's spider time. Donovan Mitchell, ice in his veins. Step back shot, and the Lakers tack on to more. He's getting to his spots and executing. Just making the game look easy. And you know, the defensive effort is not bad. They're doing the best they can, but he's been simply too much for him. Cleveland calls timeout. They're down by eight. 50 seconds left to play in the fourth. Let's hear it for the most legendary dance team on the planet, your Laker Girls. Seconds left to play in the fourth. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. What you love about Mitchell, he plays with energy, explosiveness, and courage. At the line for the Cavaliers, Donovan Mitchell. At the line for two.
And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. And he ends up making the second. And that narrows the gap to seven. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Outside Davis. Shoots. The shot misses. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Not by a long shot. It's all but a miss. Cash. Boy, he's playing out of his head. Nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now. So far, no go. And an intentional foul right there. His third personal foul. Second team foul. 26 seconds left in the final quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. His third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, LeBron James. Taking two shots. Good on the first. And that increases the lead to six. So he gets them both. And it's a seven-point game. Every free throw is crucial in a close game. Nice work at the line. Cleveland calls timeout. They're down by seven. Welcome There's the 25 ball. seconds left in the fourth quarter. Fantastic Laker girl. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. And so it's the Lakers with the W. This one was in the balance right until the final second. NBA, they showed their character when it mattered most, sending those fans home happy. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? LeBron, that was an impressive win. What did it take to get it done tonight? It's a really good team that we're playing. They're very resilient, just like us. They play together, they play hard, they play tough. So we had to bring that fight tonight. You brought it, it paid off. Congrats. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. So long, everyone.